everybody, welcome back to uh, the Golden Goblet. This week, allow me to be the bearer of either great or terrible news. We are playing Warzone again. Uh, we suggested some other stuff, but I honestly, I mean, I'll just give it to you straight. Oh my god. I'll give it to you straight. Everybody likes Warzone, for one, and then secondarily, um, we were worried your hearing had become too good. So we wanted to make sure we were blasting you with the loudest game known to uh, mankind. But then secondarily, um, or tertiarily, I suppose, if we're going to include the joke in there. Um, I think, in particular, Dan really wants to play more Warzone so that he can be, like, yoked out of his brain for uh, Unity. So we, we got other stuff on the burner as well. Um, and I, I, I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but it wasn't my suggestion to go back to Warzone. Just because I know people like variety, but that being said, there's no hard feelings. We'll be here for another seven days doing solo games, and I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, my number one goal, get this KDR to 1.0. Since you last watched me play Warzone in solos, I have become a lot better. That's not to say we don't brick up games quite frequently, to be fair, um, but I'm, I'm a lot better. This used to be around like a .7, somewhere in there, so we're really starting to come into our own. I might say. Um, and wish me luck. I, and the other thing is, this is the first Warzone recording on the new PC. The other stuff, like, it might hopefully look a little bit better than the Twitch streams do. Twitch throttles bitrate um, just for ingest reasons, you know? You can't send them a file or, a, like, a stream that's you know, 100 megabits per second. Um, but for YouTube, the video should be slightly higher quality, I'm hoping. And I'm eager. I'm eager. So, really, let me tell you, if you don't know the rules, it's just first solo game you play, whoever places the highest wins. If you get one kill, and you come first, you win. I gotta lower the volume a little bit more, I apologize. If you get 20 kills, and you come 90th, you probably lose. Okay, I think this is where we're gonna be for volume. It may still be a little loud, uh, like during the gunfights, but... Let me be the first to tell you, it is what it is. He ducked, dude! Oh! <laughs> uh, that's that's not my gun. It's not just like in Super Mega Baseball. It's not my pitch. It's not my pitch. So how do I like to play Warzone? Now, honestly. Hello, hello. Oh, this is important. No. Let's go. Don't hurt me. I'm me. Get this guy instead. Great shooting. Oh, it worked. No, oh, no. I'm so good. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say, to be straight up with you, I like to play Warzone just to have fun, you know? I, I like to land, not super spicy, but I don't mind getting into some heat in the early game. I like to maybe do a contract or two. And then when I get my loadout or I got, you know, a sniper... I'll be the first to admit I'll do a little bit of camping. I haven't done very well in the Golden Goblets for this. I crushed baseball, which is why uh, they won't let me play that anymore. Um, we do need to do a contract at train station, but that's not really interesting. I'm more interested in, like, you know, doing this military base contract right here. Maybe this recon contract. Um, I think I've got one win in 14. Not, not a win. I, I do not have a solo win yet, let me say. But I think I have one Golden Goblet win in 14 matches. So this is a really good opportunity for me to hopefully uh, redeem myself somewhat. No, 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 okay. Cut, cut that. Cut that. Cut that. There we go. So just loosen up. Loosen up. Are we ergoed here? Oh, we're ergo. The Herman Miller is... Oh, jeez. <laughs> the Herman Miller fully reticulated. I feel like you don't usually have this much sway on your way down. Well, there's not a great start to mark a contract that's literally in like only the the only building around here, but your primary objective is to kill them all. on the bright side, we did get a silenced shotgun. So what's the game plan? Do we want to secure this? Absolutely. Securing contracts gives us vision of the circle, which is very valuable, um, but also gives us some loot. And in particular, it oftentimes drops armor. Uh, oh, someone was here, dude. Someone opened that thing up. It's very scary. It means he might be in here. 
I don't want to be there. Are you crazy? <laughs> oh my. Especially because it sends up a huge beacon. Dude, it's been freaking looted in here. No! I don't deserve it, but maybe I do, because that was very scary for me. Okay, so get yourself to the gulag, sir. Man, he had a, he had a heartbeat sensor. Oh no, sweetie. Can I have the heartbeat sensor, please? Thank you. That's going to be mighty helpful. So lucky me. The fight wasn't even handled very well by me, to be honest. Uh, not trying to rub it in. Just really feeling like pretty lucky. There's another recon going on right over there. And hopefully this will give us some idea of where we want to be as the circle gets a little deeper. But it's still very early. It's a very early game here. Not rich on loot. Um, I think I'd rather have the thermite grenade. I kind of want to get involved with this, honestly. We could go buy some armor. Actually, you know what? I think step one, loot this bunker, assuming it hasn't been looted. The... Yo, the heartbeat sensor, dude, is so good before people get their perks. That's scary. Two meters. Two meters. No meters. Well, it's not like he disappeared. Sir? I think he probably went through the bunker to middle bunker. And I'm here to say, I'm okay with that. A little cowardly on my part. But in solos, being a coward, not necessarily a bad idea. I gotta be honest, I kind of like where we're at in the circle. Um, yeah, full stop. Especially early on, I'm not saying we should be aggro with the heartbeat sensor. But without people having their perks, there really, really is a good opportunity to, to use this for either defense or offense. Looted? Or just bad? <laughs> it's time to play the classic game. Looted or bad? I think this might just be bad. Whoa. Um, so I kind of... Oh, broken glass. So this is looted. Kind of want armor, for sure. Kind of also want a UAV. And I think a UAV is a little better earlier. Yo, there's so much recon being done, dude. Alright, so we're just going to move in. I'm not going to camp for uh, for 40 minutes. Rather play my game 30 meters away. 20 meters away. 20 meters away. 27 meters away. 11 meters away. I think he's in the house. Legitimately panicked. I panicked so hard, dude. <laughs> you know what? Life's short. So let's run. 34 Enemy meters. He knows! Get out of here, dude! I would not describe that 
as good Call of Duty play. That's just, it's okay. You can panic now and then. No man is a, is an island. Is that a thing people say? This place seems not looted, but no boxes? What's happening? Normally we would have opened like 70 boxes by now. We gotta do something. We're getting very little done. <laughs> That's what we want to see. No beeps, no beeps. More armor, a box. Okay, what are we looking for? Really, um, I feel like at this point, I like this gun. I do like the M4 as well, but I think we, we take something that's not um, an AR. And we definitely do not take a silence pistol. Um, and try to eke out a little bit more value. So that's the House of Panic. Where really, I should not be scared, because apparently that guy is about as bad as we are. Is that quarry? It is quarry. So usually there's like a buy station right there. We're so low on money though, dude. Circle wise, I kind of like this area. In relation to the circle. Loadout, I see it coming down. Yo, that's pretty close. It came down with two. You always gotta be scared. When you see two loadouts. That's what they're trying to do. This game is great at bringing people together. So he's going for the drop, presumably. I hate that I let him get away. Twice. The second one hurt way more. But he's... We scare him off the drop, at least. We're putting... Oh. Okay. There you go. He got a little overconfident, in my opinion. Personally, I think... No. I'm just gonna be honest with you, um, I'm used to PUBG physics. <laughs> I assumed that the loadout drop might completely block the truck. I actually, you'll never hear me complain in a BR. Like, that's a funny way to die. But I really feel in solos, the truck is almost overpowered. Like, dodging the truck is really hard. If, if the truck wants you to go, he's gonna get you. Um, so... This is one of those situations where what can you say other than, I'll take it. We're gonna... <laughs> didn't even get a kill for it. Do I, do I want my loadout drop though? I think I gotta try for it. Even though there's contracts over there. Like the truck is not still there. And in this case, I was gonna take sniper. I have a sniper loadout and an M4 loadout. Another vehicle scared the crap out of me, dude. I'm gonna take M4. Oh, that scared me. This is my gun. This is my gun. So there's lots of stuff going on. There's lots... There's a... You know what? <laughs> Keeping a launcher wouldn't be the worst idea. Although the trucks are pretty launcher resistant. Um, where's my heartbeat sensor? You get a heartbeat sensor with every loadout purchase? Apparently not. Okay. Sure. When I see that dude tooling around in the ATV... Real temptation. A real temptation to try to... Try to grab it. With the rocket, but... Um, I'm just happy to be alive again. I'm... I'm positive on that. Where is this fighting taking place? You think there's anything up here? Like, I don't... This is not a camp situation. We need to outplay somebody and take their goods. The ammo is really nice, honestly. This is a situation where 
I wouldn't necessarily say, like, we gotta get in there. Go ahead. Revenge! Revenge! <laughs> That's my guy! It's the guy who killed me! Don't take too long here. That's good stuff. That's good eats. As Dan would say, that's good eats. And I know you're like, why get rid of the launcher? Well, launcher's pretty good for like one kill. After that, I find maybe diminishing returns, but wouldn't be mad to see it. So these guys are fighting very close to here. Might be able to call in an airstrike and screw him up. Just trying to get some eyes. Like, this is a great time for us to vulture, in my opinion. And I gotta admit, I would say as of right now, this is a pretty good game. I see the guy parachuting around down here. This is a pretty good first game. If we had died to the truck... I would have considered it a little busted. <laughs> but still funny. It's a funny way to go. But now, good game. Alright, we have gotten indoors to protect ourselves. You think it's the same dude? We, we have not gotten indoors, by the way. Excuse me, where's my... Where's my armor? Am I losing it? It's like the window showed me a different picture. I actually want to go to the buy station down there. I think we should. I think this is still not cowardly time. We're basically not rich. The only thing that scares me is somebody else already being at the buy station. Based on the truck. You know what? My mojo? Little scared. Surely did not spawn there. So we creep. And we stay quiet. Just we look. This is the big look. Because this is a beautiful spot. I want you to know. Just want to see if we have perks. I want you to know, I take no pride in this. But I do believe there's a decent chance somebody comes here to the buy station, pockets stuff to the brim, we take them out, grab their stuff, and buy that stuff ourselves. If we die this way, we deserve to go. Be advised, enemy team is tracking your location. That's suboptimal. <laughs> Enemy UAV overhead. Did he get out? He did. He's better. I hear. Enemy UAV I understand. Overhead. Like, I should armor. Hear him around here. Dude, what can you say? That's not my hunter! <laughs> he had no money! Why can't I pick up the heartbeat sensor, dude? 
Did I not pick it up? Inventory full? What are you talking about, dude? I'm hitting Q. It doesn't work. <laughs> I'm bugged. I can't, I can't use Q or G. Something went wrong in that gulag. I'm not even supposed to be here. Hope I don't glitch up. That being said, four kills, 20 alive. You wanted a chip in a chair? You got it, a chip in a chair. I'm hoping, hoping my bounty contract just chooses to let me go. I'm hoping that they picked it up and they were like, if they're near me, I'll go get it. But if they're not, that's okay. That's what I do all the time. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. I consider this fantastic. I have a strong suspicion as the gas comes in, people from my south will come to this buy station and get erased from this mortal coil. You shoot them. Here's my plan, okay? I want you to know what my plan is before it all goes wrong. You shoot them. If you don't kill them, they're going to scatter over here. Then you pull out the thing. And hope you don't kill yourself. So for now, let's do some scanning. Is that a body? There's no way I would know from looking at this. It's not a living body. Probably. We're silenced. Yo, bounty expired. Great news. Don't really have a great angle out here. Yo, dude, it's triple XP weekend. You're helping me level up my battle pass, and I couldn't appreciate it more. Okay, here's what... Shake it out. Shake it out. This is a good first game. I have no idea what happened in the gulag. And also... Yo... Oh, that's not a person. It's just smoke. Also, I can't use my heartbeat sensor. But you know what? That really simplifies the game. <laughs> it's just... It's a groaning building. Get used to it, sweetheart. Almost no good reason to do that. Do I have a G? Nope, no equipment. Gas is coming. It's gonna be here soon. We do have a gas mask. Let me just say would be an amazing time for a heartbeat sensor. So what am I buying? Probably a UAV. Pretty much everywhere, but mostly there is going to be hot. Enemy UAV overhead. And then pop your own Press UAV your just in case. And pick your poison. Nobody's really close. I, I like. I have my uh, my gun on Get to the new safe zone. single, even though it's an SMG. This should be hot. Okay, great stuff. Can't pick up any of the equipment anyway. I'm imagining this. Oh, not great. I think we got to go in with the circle and fight these dudes on the way in. Straight up. Someone's taking long shots at me. I hate this. No, I don't know. You got short edge of the circle here. <laughs> the, the man just parachuted in. Relocate. Gas is inbound. Enemy UAV overhead. You just play it very cool. Very cool. Uh, 
Assume there are people everywhere and stay cool. By the way, what happened to my precision airstrike? <laughs> I don't really need my other loadout. Like, it's sniper. Don't get me wrong. Wouldn't mind it. Let's put that thing on auto. But I don't think it's strictly necessary. I mean, these guys... I'm guessing you didn't send that on me. But it felt close. We're creeping. This is how one creeps. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. It's a long trip. Yet again. I think you take this edge of the Enemy circle UAV this time. Overhead. People are playing it very coy in the final circle here. The buy station is a little too... A little too hip for me. From behind. Yep, I see the glinter. There's not much we can do here. He's gonna be forced to move very soon. You don't take the fight. Whoa! You're good. You're good. He got he got in a tussle with somebody else anyway. And then we push in from the top. My heart's pounding, dude. Steps. Only five left. Steps. Whoa, what the heck is this? His gas mask has gas. I need his armor. Uh, it's okay. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Stay frosty, boys. Four left. I'm just happy to have the chance. Sincerely, I'm just happy to have the chance. We're very close to the circle. Which means it'll move slowly. Nobody should be coming this way. I think we can almost wait for it to pop off. Losing ground. And then just get in there. No! Armor up. He is in, but he's fighting somebody else. We got a gas mask. Just chill out for a second. No! Oh! Maybe he doesn't know, dude. We're pinched. We're pinched! We're pinched! Oh, we were playing it so well, too. Dude, that was such a good game. Just the last two guys saw me before they saw each other. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, man. That was a... It gets the heart pumping. What can you say? There you go. Third place with six kills. I will absolutely take it. That's going to be day one of the Golden Goblet for now. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't get too attached to that kind of result. <laughs> but if you did like it, please do click the like button. If you watched all 29 minutes and 45 seconds, I'm going to assume you liked it. It's the best way to support the series. Of course, go to goldengoblet.net. Check out Dan and Mouse Perspectives. See how they did. And uh, thanks for your support. And I'll see you tomorrow with another one. See ya.